So let us also see how we can crack this question, which is also under static equilibrium. So the question is saying, the equilib for the equilibrium situation shown in the figure below, find W2, W, W3, and W2. Assume that W1 is 800 newtons and that the pulley, the pulleys are frictionless so that they do not change the tension in the cord. Okay? So one thing we should understand is that, so this is W1. So we have been told that W1, it is 800 newtons. So this is also T1, that's what we should know. So this was T2 and this is again T2. So if I find T2, that would mean to say I have also found W3. Because what I mean here is, for just this part here, one thing we want to understand is that the summation of forces in y direction, since it's not moving, I have got T1 pointing upward minus the W1. Replace this with 0, T1 minus C, the W1 is C, is 800. Shift 800 to the other side, therefore T1 is 800 newtons. And here the question, they have not even asked us to find W or to find uh, T1. We are just interested in W1, W3 and 2. Okay. Now another thing we have to take note here is simple and straightforward. Okay. So we have been given that this angle here, this angle is 50, this one is 40. Okay. So I'm going to make to make things simple, I'm going to use these angles here. So I know that from there to there it is 90. So if I do if I do 90 minus 50 is 14. So that is going to give me 14. Then here 90 minus 40 here is going to be 50. Okay. Now, these are the angles I'm going to use because I need to get the angle from positive x-axis. Okay. So, I'll start now. I know that this one, I'll have T2x. Then this side here, I have got T2y. Same applies to this part. I've got T1x. This side here, I'll have T1y. But one thing we should know is that T1, let's first do this. The summation of all the forces in x direction, what forces do we have in x direction? In x direction, we've got T1x and T2x. But T1x is pointing toward negative x-axis. T2x is pointing toward the positive x-axis. So I'll say T2x minus T1x. Replace this with 0. So this will be T2x or T2 cos theta minus T1 cos theta. Now, shift, we have to shift T1 to the other side, so it will be T1 cos theta being equal to T2 cos theta. But we know what T1 is. And remember, I said that for us to find T2, we'll say the summation of forces in y direction, we have got T2 pointing upward here. Okay, let me get this part alone. I show you the forces I'm talking about. So we have T2 and we have W3 there. So T2 is pointing upward minus W2. So it will be 0 being equal to T2 minus W2. So T2 will be equal to W2. So if I find T2, that was going to be my W2. Okay. So let's see. I know T1. T1 is 800. Because what is the angle? 50 degrees. Being equal to. Um, what is T2? T2 I don't know. But I know the, the theta which is 40. Okay. I divide this by cos 40, even here by cos 40. So these will cancel out. My T2 will be equal to 800 cos 
50 divided by cos 40. So the answer I'm getting is um, okay, 671. 671.3 newtons. So these guys they made a mistake. This is this answer is, is not correct. So my T2 now, let me just put it here. Now that I have my T2 being equal to 671.3 newtons, that's my T2. Now, we need also to find w, W2, that is in y direction, meaning I have now to start work playing around with the forces in y direction. Okay. So then, we are going to say the summation of forces in y direction we have T1y pointing upward plus T2y pointing upward minus the same W2, which is the weight force. Replace this with zero. T1 is T1 sine theta plus T2 sine theta minus. This is going to be M, or it's just W2 because we want to find W2. Shift W2 to the other side. So what is T1? T1 we have already found, it is, uh, we, we were given actually, it is 800. So in the angle for 800, it is 50. Plus T2 we have found 671.3 sine, sine 40. Okay. So what will be our W2? So we have 800 sine 50 plus 671.3 sine 40. And the answer I'm getting is 1,000, 1,044.3 uh, newtons. That is the answer they found here. So that now you should know that this is wrong because if you plug in this one, you will not get that one. Okay. So now, sometimes you might be asking yourself question, we have found W1 or W2 and W3, that is it. Sometimes you might be asking yourself this question to say, why did I choose to use these angles and not the angle which I was, I was given? It's basically the same thing. I'll end up having the same answers. Now, let's see if I'm to use the same angles which have been given. If we see, well, okay, let's see if we're going to get the same answers. So, one thing we should take note is that then this is going to change now. So, we have got that one. So, this now is T1x, okay, because that is T1, meaning this is T1y. At the same time, if I also extend this to this side, this is going to be T, or this is T2, sorry. Then this is T1x, and the, I have got T1y. In that case, I'm going to change now. Okay? And we already know that this is T1, and we have been given this is 800 newton. So we know that T1 is equal to W, uh, W1. So T1 is also 800 newtons, like that. At the same time, we should also take note that this is T2, and then we have W3. So if I find T2, it's the same as I'm finding W3. Simple, right? So it will be the same, actually. The summation of forces in X direction, I've got T2X minus T1X. But one thing we have to take note, this will be replaced by 0. So this is T2 cos theta minus T, T1 cos theta. Shift T1 cos theta to the other side. Now here just a minute before we even go there. I can't use cos. It's going to change. You look at the triangle which we've been given. So the triangle which we have guys is this. 
the angle is here 50 and this is dx and this is dy d1 okay let's start with 2 2 this is d2y and this is d2 so the opposite of the angle is that one meaning that in this case now it's going to change so it will be sine because of the triangle that's the reason why I had to get this angle for me to use cos in x but in this case if I'm going to use the original angles which have been given it's going to change because you look at the triangle which, have been, which you have so in this case it will be t2 sin theta minus t1 sin theta so shift t1 sin theta to the other side let us see now so t1 we have been told is 800 sin theta it is uh, now the angle for t1 it is 40 here it is 40 then t2 we don't know it's the one we are trying to find sin 50 divided by sin 50 even here sin 50 so these will cancel out therefore my t2 will be equal to so you do 800 800 sin 40 divided by sin 50 okay so you still end up having 671.1 okay newtons like that okay so you can clearly see that i also got the same answer now for me to find the other one the w2 so now t1 is the same as it so meaning that w3 is now 671.1 newtons it's basically the same thing so the summation of forces in y direction it will be t1y plus t2y minus w3 this will be replaced by zero now this is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse which is cos if i use those angles shift w2 to the other side you end up having what is my t1 my t1 is 800 so we have cos the angle for t1 is c 40 plus t2 is 1 is 6 71.1 cos cos what cos 50 for t1 okay so if I plug in the values, my T2, we found 144. So let's say 800 uh, cos 40 plus 671.1 cos 50. So I end up having the same ones. So as you can see now you choose which one is good for you okay but the first method I had to get that because I know most of the times you get confused when we use sine in y, we use cos in y then we use sine in x you get confused so that is how you work around with such problems okay